In this guide, we are going to discuss one of the most important factor while manufacturing concrete, the water cement ratio. The primary cause of drying shrinkage cracks is an excessive amount of water in the mix. Increasing water cement ratio weakens the concrete and excess water tends to aggravate surface defects by increased leakage through form openings, after normal drying of concrete. Water cement ratio is the number of liters of water to be added in concrete mixture per mass of cement. In other words, it is ratio between the weight of water and the weight of cement in a concrete mix. Site personnel increase the content to improve the ease of placing of concrete. This is not good, as it damages the concrete. It reduces the strength of concrete. As seen in the graph, as water content increases, slum increases drastically. If water is required to be increased, cement should also be increased, such that it does not increase specified water cement ratio. However, high water cement ratio, also leads to decrease in strength in concrete as seen in the graph. Water rise causes weak planes between each layer of concrete deposited. In horizontal surfaces such as floor slabs, excess water rises and causes a weak latent layer at the top. This layer suffers from low strength, low abrasion resistance, high shrinkage, and generally poor quality. Excess water can be known if evidence of water rise that is vertical segregation or water flow that is horizontal segregation occurs. Water content should be sufficient to produce workable mix required for the particular method of compaction adopted. Also, high water cement ratio leads to incomplete compaction. Upon evaporation of water from concrete, it leaves air voids. 5% air voids in concrete results in up to 30% loss in strength. Slump measures workability of concrete, which is a measure of water content. As water content varies for a particular cement content, it affects slump and strength of concrete. Our goal should be to ensure concrete is plastic enough to flow around reinforcement, and reach all corners of form work and at the same time we get the required strength. Uniform color of concrete might be required in case of flooring. In such cases, it becomes important that the water cement ratio and cement content must be kept constant for all the concrete pores, because they have significant effects on concrete color. Water reducing admixtures. In cases like pumping of concrete, workability is required. Chemical can be used to help reduce amount of water used by 5% to 12% while maintaining workability and strength. Typical dosage rate is based upon the milliliters per kilogram of concrete and is 1% to 2% of cement weight. The total content of admixtures should be included in the total mass of water to calculate water cement ratio. The quantity of mixing water required per bag of cement if water cement ratio is calculated as follows. For water cement ratio of 0.45. Water required is 50 times of 0.45 weight of one bag of cement. It will be 22.5 liters. Water cement ratio should always be the lowest value. Different cement, aggregate grading and aggregate shapes produce concretes of different compressive strength for the same free water cement ratio. Therefore, the relationship between strength and free water cement ratio should preferably be established for the materials to be used. In the absence of such data, use following water cement ratios as per Table 5 of Indian Standard Specifications. The minimum cement content and maximum water cement ratio apply to 20 mm nominal maximum size aggregate. The water cement ratio is complex and very important. Ensure water is not added uncontrollably for ease of work. Ensure proper precautions are taken and proper measurement gauges are used to control the addition of water, to get a good quality of concrete.